So I was thinking that my April reading wasn't that much, but I'm at the library to drop off my books that are due. And evidently I read a lot during April. So let me just jump on into it. Um, the first thing I listened to was Tyler Perry's Higher is, is Waiting. And it is an inspirational book based off of his journals. And um, I thought it was good, but I think I would prefer the print version better because you can study it and look at the scriptures and the different sayings that he has in the book. Listening to it, I kind of was like, oh, okay, I guess I should write that down. And it wasn't read by him. It was read by um, Dominique Hoffman. Those of you who watched A Different World back in the day, remember Whitley's boyfriend, Julian? That's the actor that read the book. So the words were good. I kind of expected Tyler Perry to do it, but it was still good. I just think I'll, if I, um, I would prefer to purchase a copy of that book. So maybe one day. <clears throat> The next book I listened to was Robin Roberts, and it's called Everybody's Got Something. And the title is based off some, her a saying her mother used to say, that everybody's got something. And you have to turn that something, your mess, into your message. And so it's really about the time when <clears throat> she was diagnosed with um, a blood cancer that was she developed because of her breast cancer treatment prior I think it was like 2004 but she developed this in 2012 I think and so it's about that experience and losing her mother in the midst of going through treatments where she was getting her sister's stem cell um, it was very inspirational I always think Robin Roberts is inspirational I, I can listen to her all talk all the time but when she described her mother passing away well that did it the water I mean the waterworks just flew so um I definitely would recommend it it's read by Robin fabulous book so moving on to my book clubs selection for April was was Gloria Naylor's Bailey's Cafe I love me some Gloria Naylor and <laughs> the discussion on the book was fabulous we talked about all the different women that were in the book who frequent the cafe I guess you would that's the best way to describe it and how each one of those women represented something different um we talked about how Gloria Naylor sometimes gets the reputation of being hard on black men so we, we did have that discussion the majority of the club felt the book was harsh and it was difficult but they did like her writing they just didn't want to read anything else by her which is tends to happen with other authors on her caliber such as like Toni Morris and J. California Cooper they don't want to read those those authors either so anyway that's, that's my people's uh, another book that I listened to was uh, J.D. Mason's Somebody Pick Up My Pieces and after I started listening to it, I realized I read this back in the day. <laughs> it is, uh, if anybody has read J.D. Mason, she has a series. Um, one day I saw Black King. All those books are related, are related to the same characters. And so after I started listening, I was like, I know them. I know them. Oh, yeah, that's what happened in the story. So I read it back in the day. But it was good to listen to her writing on my way to work in the mornings. And I had forgotten how good she can write a sex scene. And I was just like, oh, she used some good words for that. <laughs> Probably wasn't the best something to be listening to on my way to work. But that's just a quick wrap up of what I read in April. So for May Book Club, we read Whoopi Goldberg and we read one of her children's books, Sugar Plum Ballerina's Terrible Tarot. And this is a, about a little girl who's mother has passed away and her dad is starting to date again and the little girl wants to interfere in her dad's relationship now i i can't stand little grown children so that little girl was too grown for me she's nine years old and she's running the house she's going doing the groceries um <laughs> uh organizing the calendars of everybody in the house and i'm just like 
Honey, why don't you be a child? I know your mama died, but come on now, be a little child. And when she started, you know, trying to <laughs> bust up her daddy's relationship, I was like, yeah, you real terrible. <laughs> but anyway, we had great discussion on it. <laughs> and we also read another book by Whoopi. Um, this one is supposed to be sort of humorous. And it's called, Is It Just Me or Is It Nuts Out There? Surprisingly, nobody could stand the book. And a lot of people DNF'd it. But they loved the children's when we, and that was the best discussion we had. So, it, and that was the first time we've read like multiple books by um, an author during one month. So it was good to be able to contrast the two. And uh, one lady brought up the point she felt Whoopi's book probably would have been better the one about being nuts if she had a had someone to co-write it with her. And I said, hmm, that's interesting. Because she, get, uh, and um, is it nuts out there? She's constantly talking about stuff that offends her and doesn't really give um, solutions on how people should behave better. So um, that's what one of the book club members was saying. If she had a psychologist or um, even an etiquette expert or something to help her write the book, she felt it would have been a better book. So that is my book club's selections for May. I will check with you when I finish another book. So the next book I read in May is Solo by Kwame Alexander and it's written with Mary Rand Hess and um, Kwame Alexander he writes young um, what is it? middle grade with, and it's written in verse and I like this one. It was about a young guy whose parent, his father is in a rock band and he winds up being um, valedictorian of his class and he's writing his his speech and he decides to do it in a song. For me, this it, it was good, but it wasn't quite the Kwame Alexander that I'm used to and I think it's because he was writing with someone else and it didn't have the rhythm, the flow of his normal writing that, that I like. So, but but I, I thought it was good. I mean, special for middle grade. Um, anybody that enjoys that type of um, book, but it wasn't my favorite. So I did have another audio book that I listened to this month and it is A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. And I don't know if you can see the um, actors on here, but um, Benita is played by Retina Wesley, and she's on. She plays Nova on Queen Sugar, and then um, Walter Lee Younger is played by Corey Hawkins, and he uh, played Dr. Dre in Straight Outta Compton. And then another name you may be familiar with is Noah Gray Cabby, and he played the young child Travis. Um, Travis Younger and Noah was on My Wife and Kids, um, Franklin, the little um, little smart kid. <laughs> so um, the recording was really good. It was actually it was performed. The LA Theater Works is um, the group that they perform this with, and I just I was in the library and I saw it and I was like, let me pick that up. It's so hard, even though I wasn't watching them, I was listening to it. I still was comparing it to the original version with Sidney Poitier in it. And then the second one with Rashad, um, Felicia Rashad and P, uh, P. Diddy and Sanaya Latham and um, Audrey McDonald. And I was just like, man, nothing's wrong with their recording, but it still just wasn't, wasn't the performances of the two recording the the movies that I've seen of Raising the Sun and just in case anybody's not familiar with it it is a play that was written by Lorraine Hansberry it was one of the first um, plays to be performed on black on um, Broadway by all black ensemble and it's about a family that comes into some money and they're living in uh, inner city and they had the ability with the life insurance money they're about to get to purchase a home I think it's spectacular. It has been performed for now, what, 50 something years? And, and each cast that does it, it brings something different to it. So um, if you've never seen it, if you've never read it, please do. <laughs> Lorraine Hansberry, one of the best. And she died at a young age. And so this is her, her 
most famous piece of work and <sighs> too young too young um i think that's about it for my reading for the month um and i will check in with you at another time i hope you have a great one